vegetarian chow fun. You know what chow means? Chow means stir fry. Say chow. chow. Yeah. Fun. fun. Chow fun. fun. That means stir fry noodle. And I also have some ginger. Slice it up. Another one. You know, when I was in Taiwan, when I visited the Hakka people, you know what? One of the most popular ingredients they have is, is the pickle vegetable. Look at all these pickle vegetables. Let me show you, okay? This can be very, very good, very tasty. Pico mustard green, pico daikon, pico kurabi, a Sichuan pico. Look at that. Look and see the Sichuan pico, right? And then you can all kind of pico, kimchi, pico, oh, garlic, okay? And pico cucumber, and pico plum. You can have all kind of pico. So we're going to cut up some of the pico vegetable. The Hakka people love this, okay? And we'll set it aside. And then I also, oh, you know, a lot of people have never seen this before. This is celery. This is Chinese celery. Chinese celery actually is stronger and more flavorful than the regular celery. And we'll cut it up, cut it up, cut it up, cut it up, cut it up. And I am going to let it sit aside. I'm going to pass this and let you take a look. This is the celery. This is the Chinese celery. Take a look at this, okay? I'm going to pass it around so you can smell it. Buy into it and tell the difference, okay? Buy into it. This is what you call education. Ah, look at this. Kan choy. They say kan choy. Kan choy means celery. And then we're going to stir fry this. First, you add a tiny bit of oh, oil here, oil here. And how many of you like garlic? Garlic, good. And I'm going to put some garlic here. Mince the garlic. Huh? Mince the garlic. Put it right here. And I put a tiny bit over here, and tiny bit over here, and then, ah, we we'll put all the vegetable right here. Oh, vegetable right here. Vegetable right here. Oh, beautiful. Okay? And then, how about some mushroom? Okay? Dry mushroom. Okay, look at this. This is dry. Smells really good. And this is soaked for about five to ten minutes. And then you do it all together. One, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five. And then put them all together, and you put uh, half of here and half of here. You know why? Because half of these, I use the skinny noodle. Half this is the uh, fresh noodle. And stir. Oh, and then you can do stir. Ah, oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Cook it quick and cook it easy. Next, more fun when I finish my Hakka vegetarian chow fun. Whoa, I am having so much fun. Are you having fun? Yeah. yeah, having fun means having fun. Okay. I'm gonna stir, I'm gonna stir, I'm gonna add some seasoning, okay? Like soy, okay? Like soy. Mmm. Tiny bit of pepper, tiny bit of sugar, tiny bit of broth. Mmm, look at this. Tiny bit of broth, tiny bit of broth, tiny bit of broth. Tiny bit of dark soy. A lot of people don't realize dark soy it makes the whole dish looks a lot more colorful, a lot richer. You see? How about some bean sprout? How many like bean sprout? <laughs> bean sprout. Whoa. Okay. And then I'm gonna put a tiny bit of egg right in the middle, right here. Oh, tiny bit of egg. Tiny bit of egg. Before I do that, put a tiny bit of oil first, and then I crack an egg right here. Oh, put it right here, and then and put it. Right here. Mm. Up. Perfect. And then, in the meantime, while I'm cooking all of these, cooking all of these, look at this. Mmm, this is so beautiful. Look at the color. Look at the beautiful color. The egg really acts as a thickening agent. It's really nice. This is so beautiful. Look at that. Wow, look at the color, huh? Hey, hoo, ha! Oh, this is so beautiful. When this is nice and ready, this is nice and ready, we'll shut it off and we play. This beautiful duck soup. This, you know what? We have duck and cabbage soup. All this are inspired our good friends ah, at the Hakka village. Look at how beautiful this duck soup is. Amazing duck soup, okay? And we have to garnish the duck soup a little bit. In the meantime, I transfer these, put it right over here. Look at how beautiful this is. This is absolutely beautiful. One of the, this is the thick one. And this is a skinny noodle. Oh, look at this. This is how beautiful this is. Very nice. Look at this. Look how beautiful. Now, of course, if you have time, you can take the time.
to make the dish look nice. Even our Hakka people, the Chinese gypsy, in their travel, they sometimes take time to relax and create culinary delights. And this is what you have to do, okay? And then, when this is all nice and done, you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna uh, use some pickle vegetable, the Hakka that I bought it back from Taiwan. And beautiful, put them all together. Give texture, color contrast, and wonderful aroma. Always, mm, look at this, beautiful design. Ah, look at this. Whoa, look at that, ah. I am not kidding. This is so wonderful. Butterfly, and always do it like this, and that's how beautiful this is. You got one of these, you got one of these, and look at that. Remember, if Yang can cook a quick and easy feast that is simply ducky, so can you, judge in. One of my favorite vegetables is eggplant. Ah, look at that. Eggplant, you can grill the eggplant with a teriyaki glazed. You can make the Sichuan spicy garlic sauce eggplant, and you can also make the Thai green curry eggplant. Ah, you can even stuff the eggplant with a wonderful glazed sauce. Now, when you do eggplant, you can so many ways to cut it. First, when you cut eggplant, I would like to cut it at a row cutting technique like this. You see this? Row cutting technique. Huh? Row cutting technique like this, okay? See, row cutting. So every single piece is about the same size, but different shape, okay? Now, there are a lot of different eggplant available in the market. Thai eggplant, big eggplant, or regular size eggplant, and the Asian eggplant. The wonderful thing about eggplant is, it depends on how you cook it. If you boil them, they lose all the color. But when you deep fry them, and maintain all the wonderful color. Look at this, I'm deep frying some eggplant. And look at the color, contrast. Look how beautiful, bright purple bright purple. And then in the meantime, when you boil the eggplant, oh, or pick the eggplant, the color is pretty ugly. It loses all the purple. And that's the reason why the Chinese chef love to deep fry the eggplant. Now this is boiled. Look at the ugly color of the boiled eggplant. In the meantime, look at the beautiful color of deep fried eggplant. This is the tip of the day. Today is all about style and substance. I'm expecting a guest chef. I'm hoping he can make it. As of now, he's not here. I'm here, Martin. Don't start without oh, me. Oh, let's welcome. I got my suitcase. Oh. Look, I came right from the Just airport. Ready, ready, ready. I'm airport, ready to go. Wow. There's no way that I would let you down. Look, I bring. I go all the way. I bring my own pans. I don't want to forget anything. And they, I check. You know, I bring this. I carry on. Oh, you are lucky. If you bring this along, you, you will not be Metal able to detector. get out. I'm telling you, you <laughs> said yeah. be here, I'm here. That's yes, no way yes. I would miss this. Because you know, cooking fast, I love that. And you are the master at that. 
chef and cookbook author, Michael Lamonaco. Hey, yeah. great to be here. Nice to see you. Thank you happy so to see you. You know, I visit, every time I go to New York, I go and visit your restaurant, and every time I have a great meal. Talented guy. Next time, and I said, I want Michael to promise, please raise your right hand. Okay. I, Michael. I, I swear on the pan. Right. I, Michael. If I come to New York, if you mention Martin Yen's name, you got 50% off. Can you speak a little louder? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Chef, we have a wonderful red snapper for you. Beautiful red Beautiful snapper. Beautiful red snapper. And we we'll red snapper fillet. And then what are you going to do for us today? Well, you know, this is really fast. And in fact, you inspired me to cook this because this is really Asian flavors, but taken from my point of view. And it's red, it's red snapper roasted with cabbage and peppers, but also basil. Basil, that's and true. I'm using, in this recipe, I'm using Thai basil. Thai you got beautiful basil, basil over there. We have there. this, all this, a Thai basil, oval basil, and this is a regular basil. I would like to ask some people to actually tell the difference. It's very, very different. This is Thai basil, much, much more perfumey. And taste this. Smell this, and smell this regular basil. Smell it very, very different. And this is going to add a lot of dimension to the You're dish. You're absolutely right. In yes. fact, you know, this, this red snapper is beautiful. This is just a filet of snapper. Yes, yes. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it into two pieces. Yes. It's very, very simple okay. cooking. And I'm just going to actually put that in the dish. Yep. It's just for marinating. I'm going to make a little marinade. Okay. And this is, you know, this is kind of like my Italian background. And then Asia shows up. We're going to put a little garlic in a, in a, in, oh. into the marinade. So I've got okay. some chopped garlic. And right? what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to cut it off. You know, I need that shredded. <laughs> Very thin. Okay. Shredded. The, 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 the easy way hike. We go like this. And exactly. then we'll put them all together. And this is beautiful. Beautiful. And I put some ginger in with my garlic. Okay. okay. And I'm also going to add a little bit of, um, of uh, fish nam sauce. Broth. Fish nam broth. sauce. Right? Fish sauce. I love it. Okay. I love that. That is really all about flavor. I use that instead yeah. of the soy sauce. I'm going to put this over here. And then uh, we put oh, a little bit vegetable. of oil in here. Okay. Now you have some peppers. Now I have some red peppers. There's, um, uh, there's a purple red peppers, pepper. Green okay. peppers. Okay. I'm going to get some more red pepper. I got a little bit more red pepper. Red pepper more red Very pepper. Very good. Pepper. And this is what I learned from uh, the kitchen of Michael LaMonica. Look at this. He said, how to remove the seed. You go like, right, 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 done. Exactly, and I always, yeah. that's perfect. <laughs> Martin, I always tell people to do that with jalapeno. I'm gonna put yes. a little jalapeno. Yeah, 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 I always yeah, say yeah. the same thing. Yes. Just take the jalapeno yeah. and just slice yeah. away so you leave the seeds yeah. behind. Yeah. I'm gonna just add a little jalapeno to this too. Very Why nice. not, a little heat. But I need some of that Thai basil. Thai basil. Yes, please. Good. Want to get some Thai basil? I use, this is harvesting. You cut up, cut a little bit of these. Thai basil. How do you like the Thai basil? Really nice, good. And this is very good. I, I, this way I don't destroy the plant, you see? I just kind of trim it off, and I trim it off, and I trim it off. That is so important, not to very take important. a knife, yes. and not to run a knife through it, but in fact, I prefer if the basil is just torn by hand. Yes. That way it doesn't bruise it, yes. and it releases the oils, and it's just enough to do that. Now, I have my little marinade is ready, okay. and I'm gonna put the, some of the marinade. How about some of the wonderful color? Oh, yeah, some, okay. uh, some yellow pepper would be yellow good. Yellow pepper I'm would be good. I'm just going to score the skin a little bit. This dish cooks very quickly, and we're going to do it stovetop. You can also make this dish in, the, in, the, um, in an oven, in a hot oven. Yes, yes. I'm going to do it on stovetop. I'll what, show you. What temperature will we be using in a hot oven? Hot oven, 425 425 degrees. degrees. And that what is... I do then is I just roast the vegetables and the fish together in the pan. I'm just going to put the marinade on my fish. And into it my smells pan. Smells good. Smells really now good. Now we can start cooking our vegetables. I'll put yes. just a little bit of uh, peanut oil. Yes. And our vegetables can go in. I've got some the two kinds of peppers plus the jalapeno pepper, and that almost starts like a stir fry. Yes. But as that starts to cook, and you hear it starting to sizzle now, Martin. This is really one of my favorite techniques. A little bit of braising. A little So we're going to add some stock. A little bit of fish very broth. Very good. We're going to add some coconut milk. And oh, this is what makes it really Asian, coconut milk. The coconut milk and the Thai basil together. We're going to let that cook. And when we come back, we get a chance, we'll put the fish. We're going to let that cook for a yeah, few minutes. Let's though. cover up and let okay. it cook a little bit. You know, Nick Michael is going to pan fry his snapper, and I'm going to cook up a quick Sichuan lamb dish for everybody to enjoy.
Gross. It's got some great, ar Gross. great aromas. It smells right? wonderful. Look right? at it. Look, right? look at it. Right? Beautiful. Right? You know, the, the wonderful thing about this, Michael, I don't mm. know whether anybody in the audience can smell the nampra, which is fish sauce, fish sauce, mixed with, blended with coconut milk. It's just amazing. That's right. And the basil, right? Yeah, we put the, the basil. basil. We could always add a little bit more because you know what? The I basil is so great with that. Yeah, I and love in the fact, flavor. some of that marinade can go in here too. Oh, yeah. And Extra seasoning. Right. I mean, I, I, I think, you know, plenty of flavor. I just love flavor. And the fish... I let the fish marinate for an hour or two. This can be made, as I said, in the oven or on the stovetop. And after... Michael, we don't have right an inside. hour. It's Let's quick go. and easy. Right here. You, oh, we don't yeah. want to make it long and difficult. No, no time uh, at all. No time at all. beautiful. This is no just marinating. No time at all. Beautiful. And some peanuts. You oh, like yeah, peanuts? This is very unique. When I was growing up, we used a lot of peanut in our dish. My mom used a lot of these. A little salt, salt and pepper. pepper. Beautiful. All right. all right. And that's it. That is it. Now we're going to let that... smell smells We're going to let that cook. Colorful. It's wonderful. Now, you know what? Michael, just finishing up his wonderful red snapper with basil and sweet pepper. Right. I'm going to show you. You like lamb? I love lamb. You love lamb. I, you like lamb? Love lamb? Huh? <laughs> lamb. In Chinese, it's called yong. 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 Lamb is yong. 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 Yong, yes. We're going to do a Sichuan garlic lamb. Sichuan garlic, garlic lamb. lamb. I would like Great. to have some ginger. Can I help? Yeah. You want some ginger? And also, uh, lamb goes really well, you know, with the flavor of mint. I guess okay. some mint. Some mint. In the meantime, I'm okay. going to cut up some of these. And this is the lamb. Whoa, look how beautiful. Lamb tendon. I cut it up, cut it up, put it here. And I cut, I put, and I cut, I put, and I cut, cut, put, and I cut, put, cut, cut, put, cut, cut, put. That means... You look, look at this. Once again, I put it right over here. I marinate this up. Put it right here. Cut it up, 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 cut it up. And I put this right over here. And I continue to cut it up and put it right over here. And this is beautiful. And then we marinate this. Basic marinade. A tiny bit of soy. Mmm. And a tiny bit of cornstarch. Oh, Michael, do you use some um, cornstarch to marinate? I Thank use cornstarch so to marinate. I think that is one of the great... You know what? You showed me that technique. We did that together, the cornstarch marinade. I you, love that. You know what? You forget. You show me the technique. Let <laughs> ah, me <I'm> just <laughs> opposite. All right, this is starting to sound like a challenge. <laughs> you know, it's a challenge. I can just tell. You know, you know what? I I am just... I'm ready to challenge. That's why I invite you to come over here, because I want to challenge you. And then, you know what? Challenge is good. Without challenge, without competition... Hey! Oh, garlic. And then we're going to get ready to do this Sichuan garlic lamb. First, put a tiny bit of oil. Ah. You know, you want to do quick and easy. You should have a master chef like Michael to come and help you to cut up all this stuff. There we go. Then it will be perfect. Beautiful. Then, Some mint. What do you go yeah, for mint? Let's put it Where over put here because right we'll put here? it in a sauce. Okay, good. And then the garlic is ready. The ginger is ready. The tongue is ready. Look at this. Whoa. This is a great pan for stir fry. No, this is a quick one. You know what? This is what you can do. Do me a favor. Stir, okay. stir, stir. All right. Don't stare. Stir. Okay. I'm not staring. I'm stirring. <laughs> yeah. And okay. then you put the lamb right Ooh, smells over Smells great here. already. Beautiful. I want to make the sauce. What the kind? sauce. What, what's the cut of lamb that you put there, This though? is lamb tendon. Beautiful. Right. Nice. Now, how do you make the sauce? I'm going to make the sauce. I use hoisin sauce. Okay? I use hoisin sauce. Wonderful Chinese barbecue sauce. Oh, I love that. Very I good. Do. That is great. And a tiny bit of... Whoa, you know what? Garlic, chili sauce, dark soy to give that nice looking color, okay? And then you know what? An other secret recipe. What's that? Five spice powder. Five spice. Mm. That's like mm. the kind mm. of fun. Beautiful. And then when this is all nice and ready, we're going to put this all in. Put a tiny bit of extra soy. You know what? What kind of, just extra soy. Extra, extra soy. soy. That's very dark soy. Oh, what is that? Dark soy and light soy together. You do that uh, together, huh? Then, then we'll put the right in right inside? with the sauce. That's yes. it? That's it. Wow, look at, look at that. Look at that. This is perfect. Look at that. Look at that color. Oh, look at this, huh? Let us, can I give you a hand? You know what? Look at that. Next, I'm going to challenge Michael. Michael and I are going to have an Iron Chef challenge. <laughs> Quick and easy style. <laughs> Whoa. This is, this is 
just about there. Yep. There's about yeah, there. Just about there. Okay. You have some left yeah, over basil. Yeah, you want some of this? Yeah, basil. What do you want some tiny basil? Bit, in there? Tiny bit of basil. Right. I don't want to waste anything, okay? Tiny bit of extra garlic and ginger. Right. And that is right. beautiful. Right. Yeah. That's great. You know what? This, this, let, let's taste this. Okay, can I give it a taste? You know, you taste mine, you taste? I taste yours. Okay, very good. All right. You know? I tell you something. This. Oh, man. That is great. That is, no, that's great. That is great. The lamb flavors the sauce. Mmm. Oh man, that's not so great. That is marvelous. <laughs> this is exceptionally amazing. Not great. I stole oh, this recipe from a... you. What are you oh, talking oh, about? Oh. And then we will. Basically, I like to thicken this up. Let's plate it. Oh, you know what? Oh, yeah. I, I think rice will go well with my lamb. Some lamp. rice. Yeah, I'll give do you some me a favor. Rice. Get some rice. Second. And I thicken this with a tiny, tiny bit of cornstarch right here. Whoa, this is going to be beautiful. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be have, good. Oh, this is beautiful rice. This be, is a great yeah, rice. A, a rice of, cooker is you know the only the way. The thing is the rice will absorb the sauce and make it really nice. Oh, thank you there so you much. Go. You're going to plate yours too, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. And I have tiny bit of extra pepper. This is going to be beautiful. Now you oh. see, just great. It's no, you get all that beautiful aroma. This is great. We'll plate this. Mm, this is how you do it. You put this right around here. Look at this, unbelievable, oh. huh? Mm. That's why I said, Michael, it's not great. It's absolutely amazing. And then we'll garnish a little bit with a tiny bit of mint, a tiny bit of chili, you know? And beautiful. I'm gonna use some of, look, you have some of that opal oh, basil. I'm gonna beautiful. put some opal basil and I'm on here. And garnish it with a little, little bit of this, this. Mm. This is gonna be so great. You know what? <clears throat> put it over here? Yeah, okay. let's put it over there. Okay, here we go. Oh, beautiful. Red snapper, sweet peppers, and, and basil. wonderful citron garlic lamb. I got uh -huh. my eye on that lamb, though. I want you to know okay. that. All right, good. No. Good job. Very good. Are you Thank ready? You. Thank Are you. you ready? I don't know what I'm ready for, but I'm ready. All, all of you ready for the Iron Chef Challenge? <laughs> okay. What? You three, all know something. Two, two, three, two, one. Okay. Okay, here we, we go. We have all kinds of ingredients here. We have onion. Now, Michael, okay. this is my kitchen. All yeah. the sauces you have. We have white wine, balsamic vinegar, and all kinds of sauces, with all kinds of vegetables. Anything I want to use, right? Yes, Anything. all kinds of meat. Okay. Anything. Okay, well, we take some celery. All right, good. Wait, you make a lot of noise. That doesn't mean anything, you know? This is how I try to intimidate yeah, well, my you know. opponent. Okay, and then, yep. look at this. And then yeah. I'm going to cut up some mushroom. 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 What kind of mushroom? You know, are you we're going to do a chow fun. You know, last time when I was on our show, I, I had so much, much fun. I had so much fun. No, I had fun. I, I you know, had fun. I want Michael to have a, just as much fun in my on my show. That's the reason why. By the end, we'll see who has more fun. We'll win, okay? <laughs> chow fun. Vegetarian with a lot of wonderful. Ingredient, chow fun. Okay. Put it over here. Okay. Let what me else see. Have here? This oh, is uh, look at oh, this. Ooh, this is beautiful. These are nice. And cut, 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 cut. I have some shiitake mushroom. Second. I don't know no, what you use. Wait. I'm I gonna put it over you, here. And no. I put this over here. No. And I go. Oh, put it over here. And I have. Big, yeah, 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 yeah. I have yeah. some. Keep I going. Some, I love celery. I love celery. I'm gonna cut this up. I'm gonna go mm, cut this in half. Okay. Ooh, I like shiitake gonna, mushrooms. Uh, you like shiitake mushrooms? Yeah, I do. I like shiitake mushrooms. You are not alone. I love fresh shiitake mushroom myself. Cut, 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 the most duck? important thing is, you know, mm. our longest night, I want to remind you, this we have some roast duck. Yeah, it's delicious. I'm roast eating duck. it already. You know? <laughs> you know, that's good. You I slow figured it was my lunch. You slow your opponent down, give them good, wonderful food. That's true. Mm. I'm eating too. That is true. You have no. slowed me down with the roast duck. I have some chicken. All right, so I'm going to mm. use the cut, fresh shiitake cut, mushrooms. Cut, 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 I love cut, these cut. long beans. I'm marinating my meat. You're, no, marinate, I'm, you're I'm, marinating. I'm going to eat. No, I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use some beef, 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 beef. Huh? Yeah. And I'm going to have to use as a roast. All right. Stick. I'm okay. not going to wait for you. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead. Shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. You do what I got to do. A lot of stuff. Don't tell me. Otherwise, come to looks. I'm going to marinate. He's I'm good. Gonna, He's I'm good. Gonna, he is good. He right. is not as good, but he's great. <laughs> uh, so, 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 so. Marinade, marinade. I'll put a tiny bit of uh, cornstarch. Okay. 
Mm. Well, now that whole marinade thing. Now, what do you mean marinade? What are you doing? Marinade, I flavor my dish, so when I cook, it's wonderful. Uh, I'm going to pull out this. I'm going to turn this on. Okay. Okay, I'm going to add my oil. I am behind. Now, I love going to noodle shops. You know, like in New York and San Francisco, noodle shops. Is that what we're doing here? Yeah, we're doing, we're having fun. I think it's pasta shops. Oh, put it over here and toss and put this over here and carrot and wait, vegetable. I'm gonna and put I some like carrot in there spicy too. food. I'm gonna. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? Hey, wait, wait. Wait, wait, oh, wait. Whoa, a little balsamic what? vinegar. Look, put them all together. Oh, this is gonna be beautiful. Oh. I'm gonna have some. Yes, so this is gonna be beautiful. Oh, this is a little bit. I'm gonna make a sauce. Bit, little bit. I'm gonna make the sauce. I'm gonna have some Shaoxing wine. No, I got my sauce going. You too. know what? All right. Next, find out who wins our quick and easy Iron Chef challenge. Michael or me? <laughs> We're having fun. Yeah. I'm having fun. Hey, Michael, check it out. Check it out. Look. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Look at that. Whoa, funny, we're going to have fun. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. He's oh, already with the oh, noodles. Oh, oh, oh. oh I'm having a, fun. Don't put the noodles. Okay. I'll put the noodles. Chow fun. These are chow fun noodles. Chow fun noodles. These are beautiful noodles. Beautiful noodles. Oh. Hmm. Oh, beautiful. Well, this, talk about quick and easy. This is, this is easy. This is very quick. And it's very spontaneous. Very substantial. Very yeah. substantial. You know, the great thing about this is, you know, last time I was in your show, I have more fun than you. No, I had more fun than you. Today, I have more fun. Okay, if you insist, how do you figure? You know why? Because I have four and a half ounces of this, you have only 3.99 ounces of fun. You have more fun. I'm more, I'm more fun. You have fun more fun. Is rice noodles. It's, it's always fun, fun cooking All with you. Noodles. These, Sesame seed. These, I will not. So wait, 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 I love, wait. So I these love, are fun noodles. It's a fun noodle. Why? This why? Is why are these fun noodles? Why? It's beautiful. Then you know what? We're gonna get I'm ready. Done. So place. I am done. We'll check. I am I'm done, done too. with fun. I am done with fun too. I, I'm ready. Oh, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna put this over here and check this out. In the meantime, whoa! You Ooh. know what? You Ooh. are not kidding. Mm. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Ah, mm. who okay. won? Martin. <laughs> no, wait a second. Michael. Can we give him a taste? Can we let somebody yeah, we're taste? Yeah, we taste and check it out. Yeah, we can give him a little taste. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm garnish it too. Okay, now don't oh, eat the hot peppers. A... Unless you really like the hot peppers. In fact, I'm going to have a tiny bit more extra. Oof. Wonderful kimchi. I'm and I'm going to... Kimchi. I like a little bit of sesame oil at the end. I like... You are not a... alone. I like to have a, a tiny bit of oil. sauce over hand. And a few cashew. A few, uh, a few nuts. Oh, right. look at that. I'm going to take it to this side and see. Check How's it that? out. I'll bring it over Listen, here. Check How's it out that? and see whether you like it, OK? Want to give this a try? Oh, sure. yeah, OK, check it out. Martin! <laughs> Michael! Come on. Oh. Oh. What do you think? Oh, wonderful. Come on. I learned to stir fry from him, so I'm only as good as the yeah. teacher. You know, don't be, don't be telling the lie. You are master of your craft. Oh, these are great. Look at this. Look how beautiful. You know, the wonderful thing about this is, you know, this is so good when you have extra. You know, if you love, if you love, um, if you love your guests, if you love your guests, <laughs> give you feed the... them, feed them good stuff. Give them a lot of stuff. Okay. That's true. And this is this is full of diff actually the little little bits and pieces, little meat, little yes, fish, yeah. shrimp, duck, this vegetables. Is, this is all combination, colorful, delicious. Let's put this over here and serve these. You know the great thing about it. Let's put it over here. Yeah, we got two of them. Over here, and just look how beautiful this is. This is beautiful, beautiful colorful. Beautiful vegetables. This is beautiful vegetables. Just vegetables cut look at so this. decoratively. Yeah, make it this all is work. really amazing. The lamb looks look great. I love the snapper. This is a great, one, wonderful recipe. Wonderful. You know what? They really work. Michael fast. and I, we have done a wonderful challenge. <laughs> Remember, if Michael and Yen can snap together quick and easy gourmet feast, so can you. Jai Jen. Jai Jen.
Today's tip, Chinese style smoking, very popular. Oh, you can smoke fish, all kind of stuff. Today I'm gonna smoke salmon. You line up your wok with heavy duty aluminum foil all the way. Don't use a brand new wok, it might destroy your wok. Make sure the aluminum foil is all the way down to the very bottom, touching the bottom. Then basic smoking ingredient, brown sugar, black tea, rice, tiny bit of salt, and star anise. I'm gonna put all of these together, okay? Mix them all up a little bit, mix them all up, and then you turn the heat up, and let it start burning, okay? And then I have salmon right here. I put a rack right on top, right here, okay? And then I put the salmon, which is already marinated, put it right on top, aha, look at that. And then I, if you all have a big lid, it's okay. If I don't have a big lid, no problem. This is another lid, an old wok from my restaurant. You just cover it up and let it bring to a boil. When it's hot, it's smoked because the sugar caramelized. Look at this, this is being smoked right now. Look at that, whoa, look at the smoke. The salmon is cooked, it's being smoked, smells so good. Now, stop smoking, you're too young to smoke. Chinese smoking. Today, I'm gonna to show you some beautifully arranged, but non-traditional marriages between fruits and nuts, chicken and shrimp. If no one has any objections, <laughs> let's get the ceremony going. Here, I don't know about you, I love salad. When you go out to a restaurant and eat, you have always order salad. How many of you love salad? Every time you go out to eat, you order salad. Raise your hand. Everybody. See, for me, I travel all of Asia. A lot of time when you eat salad, just lettuce or a uh, 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 mixed baby green. But in Asia, they use all kind of fruits. Ah, let me see what I have here. What is this? Papaya. Green papaya. It can kill people with this. <laughs> Very hard. And you know what this is? Ah, green mango. And then also have some Chinese pear. And I also have some, whoa, whoa, this is a Korean pear. And I, of course, I bought a whole bunch of these green. Ah, uh, and uh, oh, you know what, don't worry, I have two more. You know, the great thing about this apple is when they get down there, they actually jump back up. You see, they jump back up. You just jump, it jumps back up here. It's amazing, you know, this is amazing. That's why you want to buy apple. Yeah. Well, I am, I'm glad that you're paying attention. <laughs> when it go down, it jumps. That means it's really fresh, you know? Now, this is how we do it. We, have, we put all of these things here, because when I was in uh, Thailand, when I was in Vietnam, and a lot of places, they use a lot of these green papaya and green mango. And this is wonderful Korean pear. Beautiful, juicy, sweet, succulent. We're gonna use some of these in our salad, okay? This was, in fact, this bounce back and you catch it and I'll give it back to you again. Okay, now, this is how you do it. 
normally all you have to do is peel this. This is green papaya. Inside there is still pretty green. You see, green, 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 papaya. And then once you peel them, and then you can actually use your knife. Use a knife, and then you can cut it, okay? You can do it by hand, like this. Cut it, and cut it by hand like this. Very, very simple, okay? Oh, let's remove this. And this is a Chinese spatula, okay? Julian, this and an angle. Huh? <laughs> Looks like this, and put it in a container. And then, for quick and easy, <laughs> I'm gonna do a crispy apple and shrimp salad. If you wanna do it quick and easy, all you have to do is just slice it. Ah, look at all of these wonderful shredded. Look at that, all nice and done like this. That means you can use your knife and you can use a mandolin like this, a slicer, okay? In fact, I have to do so much of these. Not only this, I have to also do apple. So, you see this, apple. Look at how beautiful. All of these are done like this, all shredded. I don't really want to do it all by myself because I'm cooking it for everybody. Why should I do it all by myself? So I'm going to find out who else want to join me in the kitchen. Marilyn? Yes. And Benny? Please come. Workstation, okay? And then we'll, after this is done, we'll put this right over here, okay? okay. Now you can pick whatever you want. Uh, you can do uh, some more of these, and you can do some of these, okay? And peel it first. And if you want, you can even use a uh, tiny bit of uh, these okay. and pear, mm. okay? In the meantime, you don't have set to peel these first? Uh, well, no? apple, you don't have to peel because okay. apple is so good. A lot okay. of wonderful fiber. You know why we use, you know why the Asian use a lot of fruit? Because it adds texture and flavor and some tanginess to your salad. And here, I also have some wonderful mixed mm. baby green, which is, I just have rinsed. And I'm gonna shake it a little bit. You see this? This is <laughs> just like dancing. Stop! Ah! Hey, no big deal. Look at that. This is all mm. wonderful, look at this. All the water comes out of here, all the water. So you don't want to work. This is nice and clean, okay? So this is something we're going to use it in our salad, okay? We have apple, we have green papaya, and we have pear, we have all kinds of stuff. Mix it in, it's going to be wonderful. In the meantime, we're going to make the salad dressing if you want. I have some salad dressing here that I want to make. Here, I have a tiny bit of sugar. If you don't want sugar, hey, no big deal. Hey, how about honey? Honey. Honey, honey. Uh, <laughs> you sit together, you are somehow related? No. No? no? Oh, we just okay. met today. You just met today? Yeah. Okay. Just good friends. Just <laughs> yeah. very good friends. Hey, good friend is a good friend, huh? And then a tiny type of orange juice, okay? And also use a tiny bit of lime juice. Lime juice. Mwah! Make sure, uh, put it right over here, and a lime juice. Whoa. Look at that, lime juice. How many of you like hot and spicy food? Very, very nice. Sweet chili sauce, hot, hot, hot. And then also a tiny bit of grated ginger, grated ginger, grated ginger. Oh. This way is nice. Okay, when this all getting ready, we're gonna mix this. This is going to be our dressing, okay? Our dressing. Now, I wanna do something for garnishing, okay? Here, it is some cellophane noodle. You can use rice noodle. Now, don't blink. If you blink once, it's all gone. Three, and two, and a one. Ah, look at this. The noodles that blow up. That it loses, <laughs> it, it, it pop, pop up like this immediately. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's all, this way we're gonna use it for garnishing. Hey, this can be quick and easy, even if Marilyn and Benny are not in your kitchen, okay? I'm gonna roll up some cilantro and base, bay, bay leaf, basil. Cut it up and put it in my salad too. I want flavor.
to make this crispy apple and shrimp salad. And then when this is done, I put them all here, set aside, right here. And then, how's the apple and uh, green mango, green papaya coming along? <laughs> Oh, Pretty good, except I just broke. Oh, the, no uh, problem at all. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is what it works. Mr. See, as long as this sure. doesn't break. <laughs> okay, okay. This is how we do it. We toss the dressing a little bit. Toss the dressing a little bit here, and you can toss the dressing in some of your fruit too. And then, ah, and then we're gonna garnish this with all kind of wonderful ingredient. Let's put it right over here. Okay. Let's see how beautiful this is, okay? And then, of course, without shrimp, you cannot make shrimp salad. So, we have some shrimp, get ready, and also, we have some, oh, wonderful crispy apple. Already have a little bit of dressing, and I'm gonna take it, sprinkle it all over, because this is what it looks nice, okay? Mm. Sprinkle and put a tiny bit more right in the middle, okay? And then, Shrimp, mm. cooked shrimp. The bigger, the better, okay? Put it right over here. Wonderful shrimp. It moves. <laughs> Still <It's> life. Alive. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. Look at how wonderful this is. Ben and oh. Marilyn, look at this. You guys did a great job. Great. Look at this, when this is all nice and ready, now, you have a tiny bit left over mm -hmm. apple left. Let me show you this is all. This is how I, I did this. Look at how I did this. Look at this. Know, it's a little nice. fan. And you can actually use the fan as a garnish. Look at this. Mm -hmm. And I put this right over here. Okay? And I put this right over here. This is a fan. Also, it's a garnish. And I put it over here. Okay? And I put the big one over here. Mm, look at how, how interesting this is. And then this is how you do it. Okay? You go one, one, two. Continue to cut. Everybody can do it at home. A simple thing that very easy. Look at this, huh? This is what you call quick and easy because you can do this ahead of time. Look at that. Everybody can do it like that. Awesome. Oh, try to take a look at this. We're amazed at your sleight of hand. <laughs> oh, sleight of hand. And then to make it more interesting, look at this. Oh, more mm. salad dressing. And Excuse in this. fact, I want to have this right on top. Look at that. This is what we have here, is a crispy apple and shrimp salad. But why am I going to doing that? Continue and make more salad for everybody over here. Are you all hungry? Yeah. Uh -huh. We're going to do the poached trout with tangy sauce. Here, I have some boiling water right here, and I have a trout, and it's very easy. I have some ginger, throw in some ginger slices, okay? And then some green onion, get the flavor out. And then, oh, look at this. I'm going to show you how easy it is. Look at this. Continue. I use a knife and I cut this right here. You know why I do that? Make, make it easier for the heat to permeate. And then I go one, two, three, four. Little score. And then the same thing. One, two, three, four. Benny and Marilyn is making enough for about <laughs> 400 people. Now when this all nice, you see it's all so score. You see this? This little this. score. You can see that, right? The outer side, the same. Then I'm going to put it over here and let it poach. It doesn't take too long to poach, okay? For one pound, you poach about eight to ten minutes. When you poach them, you don't even have to cover it up, you see? This is poach trout with tangy sauce. And why we're poaching this, I'm going to take a look at what we're doing here with Benny <laughs> and Marilyn is making so much salad. And then... And a mouse. Yeah, we want to make it, we want to make it look really nice. Put a little bit of this, and this is it. Very oh. sim simple. We can do that. And then, in the meantime, we're going to help everybody to get a lot of stuff. And then, you know what? We're going to go to the fridge and get a few things. Because we have a few of these ready. OK? Salad, already ready. And then I'm going to ask Benny and Marilyn to take, a, take it to our guests and have them try it. Let me give you a tiny bit of dressing first oh, okay. because this is going to be good. Dressing, dressing, and dressing. dressing. Finally, a little bit of these oh. fried shallot. A little bit of fried shallot. A little bit of fried shallot. 
little we bit are of ready to <laughs> serve. Hey, hey, hey! Fry Charlotte. Oh, this is what we do. Next, I'll make a sauce. Let's show you how to cook quick and easy with some wonderful mango. I can smell it. The poached trout is ready. And I want to thank Benny and Melanie for serving the wonderful salad to everybody. Do everybody love the salad? Great. Now, we're going to let it poach for a little bit longer, okay? In the meantime, we'll make the tangy sauce for the poached trout. This is very, very simple. Here, all I need is vinegar, rice vinegar. Put some rice vinegar here, okay? You can use black vinegar, okay? The jinjang vinegar, this rice vinegar. And then some soy sauce, give the savory sauce. That's why I like to use regular rice vinegar and soy sauce, give the flavor. Ah, fish sauce. You can get them a little bottle, or get them a big bottle like this, fish sauce. Fish sauce is widely used in Thai, Vietnamese, and Malaysian cooking. And then a tiny bit of rice wine, of course, Xiaoxing wine. If you want, hey, how about a tiny bit of extra ginger? I'm gonna put this on, the, on top of the fish too. Mm. When this is all nice and ready, I'm gonna let it cook for a little while and make this tangy sauce, okay? And it's very popular. And then we're going to show you how to make a dish everybody would enjoy. Mango with macadamia cooked with chicken. Now, I don't know how many of you love Hawaii or have visited Hawaii. Hawaii. Everybody will go to Hawaii, particularly this audience. For those of you who have ever been in Hawaii, raise your hand. Everybody. I'm so glad that I mean, three out of 200 people. You know, in Hawaii, there are a lot of mango, a lot of macadamia nuts. A lot of volcano, that's the reason why. And then we're gonna have some chicken here. We're gonna marinate our chicken. Soy sauce, okay. Tiny bit of cornstarch. I already told many of you and said, cornstarch is widely used to thicken the dish, but also used as a marinade to seal in the juice, okay. Seal in the juice as well as give that nice shiny glaze, give the nice smooth texture. That's why cornstarch is widely used. And then. I'm going to show you when the chicken is beer marinade, and we're going to do some mango. There's a lot of ways you can do mango, okay? One of the ways is you can cut it up, cut it, trim this, and then you just peel it, okay? This is how normally most people would do their mango, okay? Peel it, peel it, cut it, okay? You seesaw motion. Don't just go all the way down, just seesaw and seesaw, okay? And then, always, always remove these, okay? And then, cut this up like this. One, and then two. And then this way, you can cut this into little dice like this, okay? Mm, very simple. Diamond, cut, diamond, cut, diamond, 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 so you can have cuts like a diamond, like this, and set it aside. Okay, set aside and put it right over here. And in the meantime, you can also do it like this. Look at this. Everybody would know how to do this, okay? Hold on to this. Ah, everybody. See this? Slice, 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 and slice. One, two, three, enough four. And then you open it up like that. And when you do that, all you have to do is use a spoon and scoop it out, and then all the dice come out like this. Look at this. They all come out like this. Every single dice come out like this, okay? Okay, cut it up, set it aside, so you don't have to waste anything, okay? For color contrast, you can also use a tiny bit of this. If you happen to have some Thai chili, this is really good. And then, you know what? Next, we're gonna cook it quick, cook it easy. I will stir fry the mango macadamia with marinated chicken. Whoa. I'm gonna get that chicken ready to make my macadamia mango chicken. Now, why I'm gonna let us sear the meat. I'm gonna finish my tangy sauce, okay? Here, the sauce is almost ready. Let us add a few drops of fish sauce. 
and then I lightly thicken this up, okay? Move, make sure, stir, stir. I don't want to make it too thick though, okay? Just enough, okay? And then we're gonna take the fish out. Ah, oh, take the fish out. Look how beautiful this is. Mmm, can you see that, huh? Everybody. Look at this. And then, when this is all nice and ready, sprinkle a tiny bit of ginger, okay? Tiny bit of onion, and then I put the sauce right on top, okay? Right on top. Ah, look at this. Don't thicken up too much, just enough. Okay, very good. In the meantime, we're gonna continue to stir fry this. And then put the mango right here. This is another way to put the mango right here. Hold on to this and you go oh, like that. <laughs> All right here. And then get some lemon juice to make the sauce. Okay, lemon juice. Whoa, that's enough. Tiny bit of broth. If you like, since I have some fish sauce, you can either use soy sauce or tiny bit diu hame. Chinese called diu hame means give a little kick, okay? Chili, whoa. Garlic and more chili, give the extra kick. And then lemon, oh, this is nice. A tiny bit of sugar, half a teaspoon of show. Mm. And then you thicken it up, it's so easy to do. Thicken it up. Make a little more sauce, very simple, okay? Okay, whoa, this is so easy to do. Everybody can do it, it's so easy. That's why I call quick and easy. The whole dish is about three minutes to cook. And then when this is all nice and done, we're gonna put this right over here. Look at this, look how beautiful, huh? Can you smell it, huh? The mango flavor, everything's right there. You want, how many of you like kind of spicy food? Oh, hey, how about this, huh? Enhance the color. And then you know what? Give that look very, very hot and very, very spicy. How about this? Look at that. Oh, look at this. It is so hot and spicy. And then also sprinkle more green onion on one side because it looks like seaweed, okay? Make sure you cover your head a little bit, and this is how easy it is, okay? Everybody can do it. Hey, how about extra, extra macadamia nut, huh? If you love, do it in the last minute. Look at this, this is how you do it. Do it in the last minute. You know why? Because I wanna make sure to retain the crispiness, the texture of the macadamia nut. You put it in too early, it will be soft. So remember, if Yang can cook with courage, versatility and originality, then all of you, every one of you can do the jajian. I've been fish market all around the world, but I have never seen a fish market with so many people, so much confusion and so chaotic. This is the Guangzhou fish market, right on the Pearl River. I'm gonna check out all the wonderful things. They're loading all the stuff, fresh shrimp and lobster and fish. I'm gonna check it out. Uh, oh yeah, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. More unloading here, let's come. The fish market, a lot of water, very wet. I get all wet. Helping all these guys loading and loading all the shrimp and crab and everything. Hey, if you think you have tried shellfish, clam, ah, you have not tried it yet. Look at all this variety of clam. Here in Guangzhou, where the river meets the sea, you can find amazing variety of freshwater and saltwater clams. If you like scallops, hey, you are in for a gigantic tree. If you think this is big, ah, special gift from the, sh from the owner, ah! Giant scallop, ah, uh, baby scallop. In Guangzhou, maybe more than any other part of China, everybody is obsessed with totally fresh ingredients, especially seafood. That's why everything here is so alive and swimming. 
like all these different kinds of lobster, they fry from all over the world. This is abalone, live abalone. They still moves, you can tell. Ah, gooey duck, long neck clam from the west coast of the US and Canada. You see, it is still moving. If you love exotic seafood, this is for you. There's all kind of eel from all over the place. And they are all still squirming <laughs> around here. Getting the catch of the day is a hands-on experience. I know some of you like shark. You can order shark steak in some restaurant, and this is shark. I'm going to pick it up because I like shark steak too. I better not. Dangerous sport. Oh, they're too heavy for me. Anyway, I better pick up with the net. This is my kind of sport fishing. No bait, no pole, no wading. Fresh, quick and easy. Hey, let's get cooking. Welcome to Great Chefs, a culinary tour of the United States featuring some of the country's finest chefs. This time an appetizer is prepared by Philippe Boulot in Portland, Oregon. The bounty of the Northwest permeates his Dungeness crab roll with carrot salad and vegetable essences. The entree comes from Chef Ann Kearney's Peristyle restaurant in New Orleans. It's pan-seared squab with what Louisianians call dirty rice dressing. Note her savory port wine sauce. Finally, from the Chicago area, Chef Michael Maddox offers a dessert of almond cookies and passion fruit custard. He also demonstrates technique for a garnish of spun sugar. executive chef at the Heathman Hotel in Portland, was born in Normandy and worked his way through several Michelin star restaurants in France before coming to the U.S. At the Mark Hotel in New York, he earned Esquire's Best Restaurant of the Year in 1989. Here's his Dungeness Crab Roll. The chef begins by juicing carrots. You can probably buy carrot juice at a health food store. Once I have um, the carrot juice, like that, I reduce it down to a syrup. While it's reduced, I'm going to do the beet oil. So when the juice is reduced, you have like a syrup of beets like that. And the way we do it, it's blend it. Blend it with some olive oil. The method for obtaining the beet essence is also used for a carrot vinaigrette and parsley essence. The main part of this uh, crab roll is a crab remoulade, Dungeness crab meat, really fresh. We are going to add um, a mayonnaise made out of mustard, egg yolk, and olive oil, some grated lemon skin, and some uh, basil and parsley. 
The crab rolls are built on dampened sheets of rice paper rounds. And the way we're going to build this thing is like, put a little bit of um, mint leaf, shiitake mushroom, celery leaf, crab remoulade. You build it like that at the bottom of the sheet and you can roll it. Make sure it's really tight. Fill up the side. Fold up the side like that and keep rolling it. I like the rice sheet when they are really crispy, so one layer for me is not enough to give me the crispiness, so I double it. Same process. Roll it like that. Fold the side. And here we have a crab roll. This crab roll, um, this crab roll is going to be deep fried in a very hot oil. Uh, I put mine at uh, 375. You can deep fry until crispy, but still light in color. While the crab roll fry, we're going to do the salad to accompany it. 